So that's a little PNF contract relax trick for improving hip mobility. I told you that <clears throat> if I have a stiff hip, I'm going to jack my back up. One of the ways the hip becomes stiff is it loses rotation. So I'm a golfer. I lose rotation. I jack my back up. I play tennis. I can't rotate my hip. I jack my back up. Anytime you pick up limitations into hip rotation, try to restore hip rotation. Because if you do, when they go back to the activity, they're less likely to jack themselves back up again. So what we're going to do is we're going to flex the knee up to 90. I need to move the leg to the middle of the table. I can't have the leg over here and do the technique. So basically move it to the middle of the table. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to check Arash's hip rotation. I'm going to do that by placing my hand on the back of the pelvis. I'm going to move the leg into rotation. This is zero. That's 90 all the way down. What would halfway be? 45. What would a third of the way be? 30. What would two thirds of the way be? 60. All you have to do when you're looking at range of motion is no, zero, 30, halfway is 45, two thirds is 60, all the way down is 90. Okay? You don't need to get any more granular than that. Did you get that? Hold the pelvis, move the foot. How much range of motion does he have if he stops here? 45 or 60, somewhere around there. Fair enough. Okay, now let's check internal rotation. How much range of motion does he have there? A little less than 45. Okay, so if it's about 45 here and about 45 here, what's 45 plus 45? 90, 90 is normal. However, some people have a lot more external or a lot more internal. I have a lot of external rotation. What's this? That's a lot of external rotation. But I have no, I have no internal because I have retroverted hips. My hips are screwed outwardly at the bony level. Those of you that can W sit, but you can't crisscross applesauce, you're antiverted. Your hip structure is turned in. That's genetic. You can't fix it. So all you want to check is not how much internal and external the person has, it's how much total motion do they have. And if external and internal add up to 90, it's normal. I don't care what the bias is. But if they got 30 and 20, that's 50, they've got a hip mobility problem, which you can help them with. Because if you don't, they will never have the prerequisites to play golf. And golf will always hurt. That's the test. Here's the, uh, here's the way you address it. For external, I need to block the pelvis. If I don't block the pelvis, which way is this pelvis going to go? Up, on this side. So I take this hand, I flip it over, and I place it on the lateral edge of the hip. Okay? I'm going to take my knee and throw it up on the table and tuck it against his leg. That helps to keep his knee bent so I don't have to hold this arm so much. All right? So you tuck that in, push that here, and then I'm going to take this and I'm going to push it towards the other fossa, the other back of his knee, right there. Okay, right there he's stuck. I am then going to ask him to try to push his leg back towards me. Okay? I only need a couple of pounds of force. I need it for five seconds. So Arash, try to bring your leg back towards me. Hold. Too much. Two, three, four, five. Relax. When he relaxes, the whole thing will jerk a little bit. In that jerk, just wait. And the moment the jerk stops, give him a little more pressure. Do it again. Hold. Two, three, four, five. Relax. See the jerk? Wait. And now pressure. Push again. Hold. Ooh, too he's strong. Three, four, five. Relax. Jerk. Pressure. Okay, you guys see how that works? Okay. To address internal, to go the other way, if I didn't block his pelvis, which way would it go? This way. So I need to push it the other way. But rather than reach over here, you're just going to go to the near side and push like that. Now I got it blocked. You're going to bring it towards you. That's it. Try to pull your leg back to center. And notice when I said pull your leg back to center, did you see what I did? I said pull your leg back to center, because he doesn't know what the hell I mean by center. But if I go center, he knows, oh, he means over there. 
Did you catch that? It's a little subtle little detail. Okay, pull your leg back to center. Hold. Two, three, four, five. Relax. There's the jerk. And I go. And when you're all done, when you're all done, guess what you do? Recheck. The bigger issue is if you're going to move them this way and they're not letting you. In which case, you do not say relax. Because it gets you nowhere if you haven't noticed. What you do instead is you just oscillate for about 30 seconds, just like this. Just oscillate them. They'll give it to you. Just oscillate them until the ankle goes, the hip goes, and you'll start to see his shoulders wiggle. Now his legs relaxed. And I say, good, Christian, good job relaxing. But don't say, relax, relax, relax your leg. <laughs> you just oscillate them. Oscillation, it's like Traeger. Who said Traeger before? Yeah, Traeger is based on oscillatory reflex relaxation. Where you oscillate them, it just causes you to kind of, it's like in the womb. You're like, oh, okay. All right, fine, I'll let it go.